need more hope and joy welcome to seeking god with leah klein health and homeless coach and our verse for today is romans 15 13. may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the holy spirit you may abound in hope are you struggling to find joy and hope There is a lot of lack of hope. There's a lot of turmoil in the world around us, but that should not be present necessarily, at least on an ongoing basis in the life of the believer, because our hope is not based on our circumstances. It's not based on you know what's going on in the country at a given time or what's going on in our life at a given time. And the same is true of joy. Joy is not contingent on what is going on in our life. We can be happy because something is going really well and you know we like something that's going on in our lives, but that is not joy. Joy and happy are two different things and joy is something that can be present without the outward circumstances seeming to line up with happiness. Joy is something deeper because God is actually the source of all of our hope, joy, and peace, according to our verse. And there is none outside of him. And that is why when we look at people that do not have God in their lives, they look like they don't have God in their lives. I mean, really, they are not peaceful. They are not filled with joy. They do not have any hope for the future. And I hope that is not you. I hope that that is not you because you do have hope. You have a heavenly father that is in control no matter what things look like and will never leave you or forsake you. So we have the greatest hope and greatest reason for hope in the world. And that is what we need to come back to when we are feeling like we need more hope and more joy in our lives because our joy comes from knowing who God is and what he has done for us and that he sent his son to redeem us and bring us closer to him that in a way that we could not on our own do so i want to encourage you ask god to restore your hope with his peace and if you're having trouble hearing god let me show you how to spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with him in his creation and to do that and learn more about that just schedule a time with me the link will be in the show notes, either above and below or below the video, depending on the format. Uh, but the link is calendly.com backslash Leah dash Klein backslash breakthrough dash session. So do set up a time if you're really feeling like God is calling you, but you're not really getting a clear connection you're not understanding what it is he's trying to tell you uh, feel free to reach out and let's have a chat now let's wrap up our time with it is well with my soul and if you don't know the story behind this song i encourage you to look it up because <laughs> uh, i could spend the whole time just going into the story so if you know it, feel free to sing along. If not, feel free to just listen. When peace like a river attendeth my way, 
When sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trial should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and hath shed his own blood for my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to this cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh, my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when the face shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall be sent. Even so, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. May it be well with your soul today. And if you want to connect more with God, feel free to schedule a time and I'd love to chat. See you next week with another verse.